Hello everybody, hope you guys are doing fantastic today. And my last video, which was the uh, showcasing these Chop God outfits I made for a, a customer. Some of you guys DM'd me and posted in the Discord within in the YouTube comments of a, a tutorial on some of these outfits. So we've picked three to do today, and I'm going to be doing them right now. Obviously there are some requirements, like two consoles, since, since this is Beth and a trusted friend if you do not have two consoles. We're also going to need a program called NetCut, and in the description you just see some bookmarked jobs. So these jobs will allow us to merge, um, to merge some stuff on these outfits. Both work, I just prefer to use the G thing. But let's get into it. Alright, so to start off, have your friend or your alt invite you to their CEO. We're looking for a specific outfit that come with certain shoes. Because apparently between the um, apparently inside the shopping community a lot of people like these shoes called skinnies, like the skinny canvases. So that's what we'll be um, using today. I'm uh, change my outfit to get rid of the uh <laughs> duffel bag. But have your friend swoop around the outfits until we find a certain outfit. Okay, so it'll be this outfit, and on their screen it should be called the President Promoters. And ours is set on prom Promoters 1. So now we're going to head over to the restroom, or the bathroom area in our apartment. Alright, so we're going to be, um hopping to the showers right here, but before we do that, we want to make sure our friend or the alt account is hovering over to the dismiss button on the CEO to add your action menu. And as soon as we hop in and we see the shower head, that's when we should be kicked out of the uh, CEO. Now this might take a couple tries, but let's go ahead and try it right now. Alright, I got dismissed, getting out of the shower. Now let's see if it works first try, if not we'll just try again. And yep, it worked first try. So now we just go save this outfit. Alright, so I just came to the store to uh, save it since we're going to work on our logos now. Alright, so I saved the skinny outfit down there because right now we're going to be saving, we're I mean not saving, we're going to be making the logo part of the outfit. We're going to put our C2 keep in a C2 outfit slot. It should be up here, or at least it is for me. We're going to be going over to racing suits. Every racing suit works besides the navy racing suit logos for some reason. So gray. I'm going to pick the gray ones because they look the cleanest to me. We put that in our C1. Now we're gonna head over to the top section. Scroll down to we find t-shirts. Find the orange v-neck t-shirt, which should be 67 out of 78, and save that in a merge slot. Now once we've done all of that, we're gonna be equipping the C1 outfit Those are selling like and applying an Israel parachute bag. Allow the game to save before lagging your Wi-Fi connection with NetCut. Alright, so once we load in on console 2, we're going to be equipping this C2 outfit, which should be the C2 keep with all the logos. Once we equip, we're going to be applying an Israel parachute bag. Let me let the game save, and then load in the story mode. Alright, so once you've done that, we should be back on console 1, then just un just take off the parachute, and unlike your game. If you're looking like this, with the logs we want to transfer over to this outfit, now just start up any merchant job to have links in the description, and invite your friend or your alt to join to help with the merchant. And as always, make sure it's on player-owned clothing. Alright, so once we're in the mission, we're just going to merge the outfit over. And now we're going to go save it in our apartment. Alright, so we're going to be saving this in our C1 outfit slot. I save it two times just to be saved. Then once you finish saving, have your friend or the alt account you're using to merge with 
blow themselves up to avoid going into bad sport. Because if you leave too many jobs to, it'll put you to bad for some reason. Okay, so once we save that out of the way, we're now going to be flipping the skinny shoes to uh, the white and blue skinnies. So you can just save that in the same amount of slot or save it where you want for the C1. I'm going to head over to the shoe section. I'm going to go to rubberized boots and we are looking for the gray and yellow trail boots. They should be 23 out of 53, and we're going to save that right underneath the skinny as our C2. C2 skinny. And since we're doing the bottom part of the outfit, we're going to be doing this with a classic parachute. So equip the C1 out with the skinnies and apply a classic parachute. Let the game save before lagging your Wi-Fi connection. Alright, so once we've learned on console 2, we're going to be flipping this C2 outfit, which should be the one with the uh, black and yellow trail boots. We're going to be equipping it and putting on a classic parachute, letting the game save with the loading in the story mode. Alright, so after you've done that, just uh, unequip a classic parachute on console 1, and unlock your game. I came out to block the blue and white canvas shoes. And now I just go save it in our merge slot. So save it in our merge slot. Now I can delete these two down here. We're gonna be equipping this outfit again. Head over to the pants real quick. Put on the shorts and apply the Love Heart Boxer shorts. Six out of 108. We can go to the top section and remove these uh, racing belts, I presume they're, I think they're called. Alright, so we can go to the utility vests and just equip your MS vest and it will take it off. Now, since we're going to be merging on those shoes, take out the shoes right here, save that as our C1, stay in the shoe section, scroll down until we find the sports the shoes, and apply the Red Crest trainers. And save these as our C2. Alright, so once you save these three, equip the C1 outfit and apply a classic parachute. Let the game save before lagging your Wi-Fi connection with the cut. Once we load on console so 2, we should be equipping the C2 outfit, which should be the same outfit as console 1, but with the red cross trainers. Equip the outfit, apply a classic parachute, and let the game save before leaving the story mode. back in console one they just take out the parachute and unlike your game been like this now start being merging mission and by your friend out to join and as always make sure it's on player own clothing so we can merge shoes on all right so once we're in the mission go once to the left and once to the right and ready up once loaded into the mission we just see that we had the shoes merged onto the outfit Now let's just go save it in our apartment. Alright, so we kind of save this outfit in our C1 slot because now we're going to merge over the hazmat suit um, pants to this outfit. Have your friend or the outfit load themselves up again to avoid it going to the bass bar by leaving the missions. Alright, so equip this outfit again. You don't have to worry about these skinny shoes disappearing when you put on some pants because they won't, they'll just stick. So cargo pants, and we're going to be equipping the sand cargo. This will be our C2 outfit. Now head over to heist coveralls. And we're going to be applying the quarantine outfit, which should be the last one, 12 out of 12. And put that as our merge slot. Equip the C1 outfit, apply a classic parachute, 
let the game save before lagging the Wi-Fi connection with Netcut. And once you load it on a console 2, just apply the C2 outfit. Which should be the same outfit but with the same cargo pants. Apply a classic parachute, but it's safe before leaving the story mode. Now once you're back in console 1, just take off the parachute and unlock your game. Back on the console 1, we should be looking like this. Now start up any emerging mission, as always invite your friend or not to join, and make sure it's on player owned clothing. Once you load it in, just merge everything over, and ready up to go save it in your apartment. Alright, so apply the C1 outfit. Biker helmets. And equip the feathers dome, 11 okay. out of 30. Save this in our C1 outfit slot. Now apply the outfit we have with the bulletproof helmet. Or any hat that you want to use for this outfit. Hover over the C2 keep outfit. Right as you sit down in the car, equip the outfit and the build the comments to merge to the outfit. Now head over to the pants section. Cargo pants and equip the grade digital cargo, 26 out of 45. Shoe section, sneakers and equip the Ares black sneakers, 37 out of 37. These will keep our canvas shoes the same color by default. And let's save this in our C2 outfit slot. Hope you find apply the C1 here. outfit, Looking apply a pair of glasses, and equip the Israel parachute. Let the game save before lagging your, lagging your Wi Fi connection. Alright, so once loaded on a console 2, equip the C2 outfit. Apply a pair of glasses. And then the Israel parachute bag. Let the game save before leaving the story mode. Now, once you're back on console 1, just equip the C1 outfit. It takes off both the, uh, the glasses and the parachute. Let the game save. Or, I mean, unlike your game, sorry. Alright, so once you spawn online, the outfit should look like this. Start up in the emergent mission, and as always, make sure to play your own clothing and invite a friend or not to join. Sorry, so once you load in, just merge everything over and ready up. The helmet should appear when we load back in the job, so don't worry about it when it vanishes in the emerging screen. As you see, the helmet's back on the outfit, so let's just go save it in our apartment. Alright, so we can see this outfit anywhere you want to since outfit's done. Um, but if you're building the second outfit, which is the white joggers with the, uh, the yellow ice cover on top, do not delete the C1 outfit, just leave the stuff around it. I'm gonna save it down here. I'm gonna name it Blue Hazzy. Alright, so we're gonna be flipping these canvas shoes to Take the yellow and white ones now. So head over to the shoe section, rubberized boots, and we are looking for the brown trail. 20 out of 53, and save that in our C2 outfit slot. Equip the C1 outfit with the, and, uh, with the uh, canvas shoes, and then apply a classic parachute. Let the game save before leaving. I mean, let the game save before lagging Wi-Fi connection. Sorry. All right. So once we're on console two, we equip the C2 outfit. Apply a classic parachute. 
let the game save before loading the story mode. Once you're back on console 1, just take out the parachute and unlag your game. Now we're going to say this in our merch slot. Apply any outfit with a pair of joggers. You're going to want to take off the top and any of the masks you have on it. Well, you don't have to take off anything, just take off the mask and stuff. Go to shoes, you take off the shoes, and say this happy down here in uh, C1. Head to the pants section. Cargo pants, we're looking for the digital moss cargo. Or the moss digital top moss and digital cargo. Equip it. Head back to the shoe section. Sport shoes. And equip the Red Cross trainers. And say that in our C2 outfit slot. So basically we're flipping the joggers to white as well as making it where we can merge the shoes on. Equip the C1 outfit slot, apply a classic parachute, let the game save before lagging your, lagging your Wi-Fi connection with netcut. Alright, so once loaded on console 2, equip the C2 outfit, which should be the digital cargo pants. Apply it, put on the classic parachute, I can tell let the game save taste. before leaving the story mode. Alright, now once you're done that, head back to console 1 and just take off the parachute and unlag your game. Now we're going to start off the emerging mission to merge the shoes on. As always, play your own clothing and invite a friend or not to join. Alright, so once we're in the mission, just merge it over. When we load into the mission, you see the shoes have merged onto the juggers. Now let's go save it. Alright, so we're going to save this on merge slot because we're merging these joggers and the shoes to the main outfit. Which is the C1. Once you save it, have your friend or the alt blow themselves up to avoid going to batch portal. Alright, so we're going to be equipping the Steven outfit right here, taking off the hat, head with the pants, shorts, the love heart boxer shorts, go to shoes, take off the shoes, and then save this in our C1 slot. Don't exit this menu. Go to sport shoes, equip the red crest trainers. Go to the pants section, cargo pants, equip the sand cargo and put that as our C2 outfit slot. And now equip our C1 outfit, apply a classic parachute, let the game save before disc I mean, before lagging your Wi-Fi connection. Alright, so once we're on console 2, the C2 outfit, apply a classic parachute, let the game save, we're leaving the story. Definitely. Now once you're back on console 1, just take out the parachute and unlag your game. I saw your ad about the cleansing. Let them play your own clothing, and if I find out to join. just merge everything over and go save it in your apartment. Alright, so we're gonna put this outfit in our C1 slot. We got one more to merge up to go and we're done with this outfit. Make sure your friend or the alt blows themselves up to avoid going to Bassport. Okay, equip the C1 outfit. Head over to hats. Biker helmets. And equip the Ace of Spades dome. 
8 out of 30. Then put on any Trogoff hat or BP you want in this outfit. Find your car or a, or a um, three vehicle. Bikes do not work with this. Now hover over see to keep the bulletproof helmet on or the hat you want. As he sits down, equip the outfit. And the hat has merch on, as you can see. Now head up to this pants section, cargo pants, and equip the Moss Digital Cargo. They'll keep the joggers the same color. Sneakers and shoes and sneakers. The Aerith Black sneakers. They will keep the uh, white and yellow uh, shoes to white and yellow. And then we're looking for uh, the highest coveralls. And we're equipping the uh, hazard and save that in a merge slot. Alright, equip the C1 outfit. Apply a pair of glasses and the Adriel parachute. Let the game save before leaving the story mode. Alright, so once you load in on console 2, equip the C2 outfit. Apply, apply a pair of glasses and put on the Adriel parachute bag. Let the game save before leaving the story mode. Once you're back on console 1, just equip the outfit. It'll take the glasses and the parachute off at once. Then just unlock your game. Now just join any merchant mission and buy a friend or not to join. As always, make sure to play your own clothing. Now just merge everything over. And ready up. Now we go save this in our apartment. That's how you build this alpha, you can save it wherever you want to. Yellow. X, white. Oh, misspelled white. Now on to the next outfit. I probably should have mentioned this a few seconds ago, but do not delete this outfit. We need this for the next outfit we're building. So we're going to be merging the sleeves onto this outfit, so just head over to the top section. Utility vests, and scroll down until we find the peach plate carrier. Which should be in the 44 out of 76. Those are selling like Say that as our C1. We're in our C1 slot. Now head over to the desk. Go to ice cover all those and apply any gas mask outfit. Now go to a telescope. Alright, so once you made it to a telescope, before I pass it, you spam right on the D-pad. The character should stop. Hold interaction menu. Now equip our C1 outfit. Now head to the clothing store or the mask store yeah, to save this outfit. And so save this outfit. I'd like to save it three um, three ish times just to be safe. Save it in our C1 slot. Now this is important. You want to equip the outfit at least 15 times before going to tighten up a job. This will help us avoid spawning with a Pollock Alpha Mask and result in making us restart the entire game. So once you complete it around 15 times, join Titan of a job. Now as we load into the job, you should see that we spawn without the Peach Blood Carrier with the Gas Mask still on. That means we've done it correctly, so just go save it in the gun store. Alright, so once we made it to the gun store, we're going to save it over our C1 outfit slot. Go to 
top section of the gun store. Vests and equip any vest. We need vests like this. Back out, go to vest shirts and equip the white band vest shirt. This right here allows us to um, put the hazmat hood on our outfit later on. So just equip it and leave and start the emerging mission again. Alright, so once you load in, just merge it over. It won't appear, but that's, that's fine. We have to wait in a job for 15 seconds before leaving uh, leaving the mission. So wait 15 seconds. Alright, so I recommend blowing yourself up to avoid going to passport. So that's my number. Alright, so once you're back online, just uh, find a street vehicle or your car that you may own that's not a bike because bikes do not work in this, with this method. Register as a CEO. Sit in your car. CEO management style. Left, right. Get out. And the sleeves has merged onto the outfit, so now let's just go save it. Alright, so we're going to save this over our C1 outfit. Now we're going to work on flipping these shoes to the white canvas shoes. So to do that, head over to sh um, shoes, rubberized boots, and we're looking for the black and blue trail. So they should be 25 out of 53, and save these in our C2 outfit slot. Equip our C1 and apply a classic parachute. Let the game save before lagging your Wi-Fi. Once we load in on Contact 2, just equip the C2 outfit. Apply a classic parachute. Let the game save before leaving the story mode. Now once you're back on console 1, you just take off the parachute and unlag your game. If you did everything correctly, just see we have the white canvas shoes on, so now let's go save it. Hi, welcome. I'm going to save it in our C1 outfit slot. Now we're going to apply any outfit with a jersey on it. I'm going to take off my parachute that's on it and the body armor. Save it somewhere out of the way as our C1, I mean our C2. Equip any of it with the heavy body, I mean not the, the CEO vest body armor. I think it's called that at least. I'm going to take off the hats. And put that in our merge slot. Head over to the top section. Looking for track jackets. And we're looking for the yellow track jacket. 46 out of 53. Put on heavy body armor. Now go save it as our C1 slot somewhere out of the way. Alright, so equip the C1 outfit. Go to parachutes and put on that Israel parachute pack. Let the game say if you're lagging your Wi-Fi connection with the net cut. Alright, so once we load in on the comp to two, we're gonna be equipping the C2 outfit. It should be the jersey. Apply an Israel parachute. Let the game save before leaving the story mode. Alright, and once we've done that, just take out the parachute and unlock your game. You looking for anything special? Hey, how'd you get my number? Seriously, I won't Now, if you did everything correctly, you should load in with a white jersey. Now, I'm just showing the emerging mission to merge our armor over. 
once we load into the mission, go once to the right, once to the left, and that mission we're drawing. And just go save it in your apartment. Alright, so we're going to spend this in our merch slot. And you'll have your friend or your alt blow themselves up to go in the back port. Alright, so now I just save this to keep outfit in our C2 slot. Now we click our C1 outfit. Inventory, body armor. Now head over to the hat section. We're looking for biker helmets. Then we're looking for the Ace of Spades dome. Now save that in our C1 outfit. Now equip any outfit with the truck off hat or whatever outfit you're on, whatever hat you're using. Hover over a C2 keep outfit. Up in the car, as soon as he sits down, equip the C2 outfit. Get out, and the Asher merge onto it. Alright, so now, head over to the pants section. Cargo pants. Now we are looking for the Moss Digital Tactical. Or just March Moss Digital Cargos. Go to shoes. Sneakers and equip the Aerith Black Sneakers. And then say this in our C2 outfit. What's up? And then hey, once buddy. we've done that, we equip our C1 outfit. Five pair of glasses and then the EHV parachute. Let the game save before lagging the Wi-Fi connection. Alright, so once we're on console 2, we equip the CQ off you. Apply for glasses, engage your parachute. Let the game save. And exit the door. Now once you're back on console 1, just equip the CQ off it. It'll take out both the parachute and the glasses. I want my good game. We should spawn in like this. Now I don't need any merging jobs. As always, player own coding, and if I if render not join. Now just merge everything over. And go save it in our apartment. Alright, so save this outfit any way you want to. Next we're gonna be working on putting the uh, ice cover hoodie on this outfit. Once you saved it, have your friend or the alt to blow themselves up so you can avoid going to bad sport. Alright, so just take the hat off. Save it anywhere. That's really nice. Go to highest coveralls and equip any of the um, uh, heavy suits. Now head to a telescope. Now run past the telescope. Right on the D-pad, interaction menu, style, and equip our outfit with the pad on. Walk away, and the gas mask should merge on as you go save it in the clothing store or the mask store. Alright, so save it. I like to save it two times just to be safe. Now equip it at least 15 times. Now launch up site another job. We should spawn in like this. Now we have to go to a certain gun store for it to work, which is this one right here. And you'll see why in a few seconds. See this store has a um, drink machine. That is what we need for this glitch. Head over to this stand. Equip the gray earpiece. Now, as you can see, the hood has been glitched onto the outfit. Head over to the, um, the drink machine. Right as he throws the can, walk over to the rack right there and spam it right on the D pad. Just save it. <clears throat> now, as you see, the hat, I mean, the has a hood, is now permanently on the outfit. 
Now to merge the hat onto this outfit, just equip the outfit with the hat on. Hover over the outfit with the hat on it. Equip it right as he sits on the car. Exit the car. And the hat should merge onto it. Now just go save it any place you want to. And that is how we build these three chop god type outfits. I hope that this video helped some of you guys out. And if it did, please consider subscribing. It means a lot to me and it's free. I post the best content all the time. And thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.